Hi, my name is Dr. Stephen Stokes and welcome. We're going to talk about gut health. So one of the most important things you can do for your gut is to get the right amount of diversity in your colon. And that means uh, lots of good bacteria and not a lot of bad bacteria and other bad things like yeasts and parasites. So the first thing we want to do is we want to have some way of basically killing off all the bad things. There's two ways of going about that. Um, the first is using something called wormwood complex. Now, this is like the nuclear bomb when it comes to the colon. So this is a, a product by MetaHerb that's going to basically kill everything in the colon. It's the nuclear bomb. And it works really good with parasites, with worms and stuff like that. So if you're not sure what's in there, if you're not sure what nasties uh, you're hosting, <laughs> Then use Wormwood Complex. You do this for 10 days, up to four weeks. You just kill everything. And then we're going to look at repopulating uh, the good bacteria. If, however, you know what's wrong, and the way you do that is you do a, a microbiome test. I'm going to put a link below for that test. You can get that test for $129. And if you order the test and have it done, I will review for free the results with you and help you formulate a plan. So in my own health, I did the test. And the test came back and said that I had some overgrowth of bad bacteria. Well, uh, for that, I did not use the nuclear bomb. Instead, I used a more specific approach. And instead of a shotgun, right, I used a sniper. And I used garlic forte. Garlic works really well on bacteria. So my problem was mainly a bacterial overgrowth. I never had the uh, parasites and stuff. So I used garlic forte. I took this for about a month. To kill off the bacteria, I retested my um, microbiome, found that I had eliminated about 80% of the nasties with this, and then I began the process of regrowth, repopulation of healthy, good, helpful bacteria. For that, I used a product called GI Stability. And what this is, is the miracle maker. GI Stability has in it something called human milk oligosaccharides. Human milk oleosaccharides, or HMOs, uh, the good type of HMOs. <laughs> That's a joke for any uh, medical physicians out there. But it has HMOs. And what HMOs are, it's a component of breast milk that is an indigestible sugar. So this is a sugar that you intake. It goes through the stomach and doesn't break down. It goes into the small intestine where only 1% is absorbed. And then the rest of it ends up in the colon. And those indigestible sugars are, it turns out, are the primary food source for the helpful bacteria in your colon. So what you do, right, is you see these are just like, um, these are just like uh, wafers. And you take about six of these a day, you feed the colon, and those healthy, helpful bacteria start to repopulate and, and grow. And you do that for between four to eight weeks to regrow back the healthy bacteria. And this weed and feed protocol works so good. And it's so much better than just going out and buying a bunch of probiotics. Because when you buy the probiotics, you don't know how the current occupants of the colon are going to deal with those new visitors. Um, even though you're, you're feeding it probiotics, you're feeding it what are supposed to be, you know, what's clinically shown to be a healthy bacteria. When they get into that uh, environment, the bacteria that's already there, they may not accept those. And if they don't, there's going to be a war. <laughs> and we don't want that. And that's why a lot of people will take probiotics and feel ill or, or get worse or have symptoms. It's not the right approach. The right approach is working with what's already established in the colon environment. And again, uh, as far as rebuilding that, instead of taking a probiotic, take a prebiotic. Take something like GI stability, which has these HMOs which are going to feed specifically the, the good bacteria that's already there and help them populate. You know, one of the beautiful things about HMOs is they also act as decoys. So if you currently have a situation where you have an infection in your gut, or you have some of those bad, you know, those nasties, I like to call them, that are living there, the HMOs act as decoys and the nasties will attack the HMOs and leave your, your, your normal cells alone, which is phenomenal, right? It also has been shown to uh, discourage growth of the bad bacteria. 
And it also works on the biofilm, breaking the biofilm down, right? Things that make your gut healthy, um, naturally. That's what it's all about. You know, there was a short time ago, we didn't even know much about the microbiome. We thought it was basically a byproduct and those bacteria were not even really important. Well, now we know that, for example, the microbiome, they make a lot of the neurotransmitters in your body. Now, neurotransmitters are these funky chemicals that we used to think were just made in the brain. And they're the chemicals that make you feel, make you feel emotions, make you happy, make you sad, make you feel aggressive, make you motivate, right? Things like serotonin, dopamine, these are all important. And now we know, for example, that most of your serotonin is produced in your gut. It's not even produced in the brain. And so if you have a problem where you don't have a diverse population of helpful bacteria in your colon, you're not going to make enough serotonin. And if you're not making enough serotonin, you're going to have problems like depression, anxiety, ADD, right? All these disorders that have been a mystery for so long, it looks as though the mystery is solved. It looks as though the gut and the microbiome is really the key. And so if you're healthy, you have no problems, well, you may do what I do. You may decide that you're just going to take a couple of these GI stabilizing wafers uh, throughout the week to make sure that the colon floor that's there is getting fed properly, especially if you're on a restricted diet. Um, or if you're not healthy and you really want answers, order the microbiome test, get the test, it's not expensive, and then let's look at the results. Let's look at the profile of your colon bacteria, find out what you're overpopulated with, formulate a plan, maybe using wormwood complex or garlic forte, right? To wipe out those bad nasties and let's grow back the good bacteria. Hope this was helpful. Um, you know, I'm passionate about the connection between food and medicine. I do this channel as a labor of love. I just want to help people. I answer all the emails. I don't charge for consultations. And if you want to support this channel, then go ahead and apply for a patient direct account with Standard Process, the links below. And you can buy all these supplements directly from Standard Process with no middle person and it helps to support the channel. Thank you, be safe, be healthy. We'll talk again soon.